We've been here in the States about eight years now. Our first 700, 800 machines were all sold in the Deep South, primarily in the rice country. We've been here in the Corn Belt for three years now, uh, primarily in the upper part, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Michigan. Uh, this is a primary tool and a finishing tool kind of in one. We have a multiple of disc options available to mount on the standard frame, which you see behind me. Uh, we build this thing in several sizes from 20 feet to 62 feet wide. Uh, relatively high speed machine, you pull it 8 to 10 mile an hour, so it's very productive. Uh, relatively expensive, but its, its selling point is really the durability. There's no grease zerks on the machine, only at the pivot points, which are the folding of the wings and the tongue. Everything else is all done with seal bearings. The bearings are guaranteed for 10,000 acres, and some of the components are guaranteed up to 50,000 acres. So it's a, a very durable, low cost per acre machine for today's farmer. Uh, we've had very good success. We're headed for 2,000 machines total sold in that seven or eight year period. Uh, concentrating today on the upper Midwest in the Corn Belt. And you see these yellow discs, which is an option more for slicing corn stalks that we didn't have until two years ago. And today with the variety, I don't know if you can see these other components over here, but there's, it's sort of like an erector set. We can custom build this thing into whatever you're trying to accomplish in your farming operation today. More and more people that own this machine now are selecting other options that are now available that we did not have in the beginning. So we have several people that own two, two different sets of componentry, all on the same frame, very simple to change out. Two to two and a half hours can swap out even a 45 foot machine from one component to the other. Uh, the configuration looks like a chain, but it's not a true chain, it's just the components are hooked together in a log chain type configuration with a roll pin through there that holds everything in place. Very simple design and, and very easy to, to swap those components out. The components are all attached, like I say, to a, to a connecting plate here. And the bearing is this assembly here. There are two sealed bearings inside that assembly that spot welded together and threaded. So when you have a, if and when you have a failure with one of these, you just un, un place that, put a new one on there and rebuild that other one at a later date. The components are mounted here off those hangers. And then this chain, which is a little hard to see underneath here, is your depth control that raises and lowers those components. And every flange mounting point has one of those on it. This is a show stand we've just recently come up with that shows these individual components. Uh, the end one here is the mounting plate we just talked about that attaches the bearing to the main assembly. The next one is our original component which we call a CL1 disc. That, that is a, a dike or a cast material uh, made out of the same material that backhoe teeth are made out of. Those blades are guaranteed for 50,000 acres. This one is a sand disc that's made more for light sandy ground. There's more of these per foot on the assembly so it, it tends to stay shallower so you're not going as deep. The next one is another configuration of an open design chain. Uh, there again for specialized applic applications, like if you got root balls that need to be tore apart and, and shredded, that tends to do that. This is our newest one, the CL2 disc, which is a, a sharpened blade, and it has this, this uh, cast wafer behind it, which is is adding weight. We're jumping from like 27 pounds on the original one up to 54 pounds here. Tougher for penetrating, slicing and sizing cornstalk material or any residue that needs to be sized. And here again, another connecting plate. So quite a selection of tools that we can kind of custom build a machine into your operation.